BTS members recommend their favorite K-dramas. The Bangtan boys have an immaculate taste with a diverse range in the things that they like. They'll give runaway models a run for their money with their extravagant fashion choices, or they'll entertain their beloved armies by suggesting iconic K-dramas. So in this video, we're listing the K-dramas that were suggested by the members of BTS. Before we spill all the deets, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to Korea Pop, and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's jump right into the video. Number 1. Boys Over Flowers Jin If you're an ARMY who's a K-drama fanatic, then there's no doubt that you've watched Boy Over Flowers on Netflix or something else. Boys Over Flowers is so iconic that it is the TV show that set the tone for the popularity of K-dramas in the mainstream media. So it's easy to say that this one is actually a really good recommendation. Jin Hyung was the one to recommend the show to his precious BTS army. It's not like we won't follow Jin's suggestions because we know he has really good taste. Like every other Korean drama, it has a lot of cliches like a complicated relationship, excessive bullying in schools, a rich and arrogant male lead, and of course an innocent pretty girl who's from an underprivileged background. But we also know those stereotypes are the heart of Korean dramas, so we recommend you to watch it without any remorse. The plot of the show follows Ku Hyesun, who falls in love with the character Lee Min Ho, the son of a South Korean tycoon who was born with a silver spoon. And you guessed it, Hyesun's character barely makes ends meet, and Min Ho is expected to take over the corporate world. These two amazingly established worlds collide to give us a gem that we can call Boys Over Flowers. And don't worry about this guys, it's just a little spoiler, but you will be very happy about the ending of the show. Number 2. Cold Eyes Jimin The next entry was suggested by none other than the Chim Chim of BTS, Mr. Pak Jimin. And we aren't surprised to hear that instead of suggesting a K-drama, he went ahead and suggested a K-movie. But after watching this movie, uh, let's just say Chimin really knows his stuff. This movie is incredibly engaging from the very first minute to the last. Cold Eyes is a thriller film starring Seul Kyung-gu, Chung Woo-sung, Han Hyo-ju, Jin Kyung, and Lee Chun-ho. Even though it's based on a Hong Kong movie with the name Eye in the Sky, it has a very prominent South Korean touch to its production, so we aren't complaining. The movie is a spy thriller movie and it involves a very special unit of police whose aim isn't exactly to arrest criminals, which is highly out of the norm, right? It's more of a surveillance unit that gathers information on suspected or convicted criminals. You know what they say, right? Knowledge is power. The infusion of good and evil in our world is the main theme of the movie and it's entertaining as heck. If you're looking to watch a suspense-filled movie in quarantine, this one might just be it. Number 3. Pained J-Hope We all know that J-Hope is a huge softie from inside, so it's not a big surprise that he suggested a lovesick movie. Pained is a K-movie that is based on any themes of soulful and melodramatic romance that bloomed in the streets of Seoul. But unsurprisingly, the movie isn't cliché at all and not even slightly conventional to the mundane South Korean standards. In fact, it's a profoundly unique love story that is a league of its own. The story revolves around Nam Soon, who's a debt collector of some sorts and his love interest is a street vendor named Dong Hyun. This isn't your average couple though. Nam Soon has this ability where he can't feel any sort of physical pain and it's a plus for his job which, you know, normally involves a lot of violence. And then there's Dong Hyun, who's extremely vulnerable to pain as she suffers from hemophilia. For armies who aren't aware of hemophilia, it's a disease that prevents clotting your blood. As a result, even if you get a paper cut, you won't stop bleeding easily. Yup, we took a minute to process that as well. Two lovebirds, one can't feel any pain, and one is destined to just bleed herself dry? Sounds like a must watch on our list. Of course, the couple meets in kinda unfortunate circumstances, and well, you can watch how the story unfolds. J-Hope has an immaculate taste in movies and everything else, so you'll spend 104 minutes of your life on this movie in a productive manner. And another movie for quarantine, right? Number 4. Legal High Yoongi If you're an army who loves law shows and if you're guilty of binge-watching suits or how to get away with murder, then you're in for a treat. 
Not to mention, it's not easy to impress Min Hyunggi. Like, have you seen the guy? He couldn't bother less about trivial things. So, if Suga recommended this show, we can stake our life on it, right? Might sound overdramatic, but hey, K-dramas very rarely disappoint. The show isn't a carbon copy of Suits, so we can chill with this one. And a South Korean version of Suits is already available. Legal High follows the story of two drastically different lawyers who end up working for the same clients or a law firm. Now that doesn't sound good, right? Go Rim is basically your South Korean version of Hari Spectre, which means he's as arrogant as it gets, he's ruthless, and he has a success rate of 100%. Yep, and he won't stop raving about it. On the other hand, we have Yoon Soo, who is a rookie lawyer but with much more pure intentions than Tae Rim. One wants to make his name in the legal sanctity, and one lawyer wants to change people's lives for good. The show consists of 16 episodes, and you're in for a ride with this one. Another definite must-watch on our list. Number 5, Itaewon Class, V. Best friends supporting each other? Yup, we're here for it. It's not a surprise that V suggested Itaewon Class to his BTS armies. Not only is it a really good show, but it holds extremely high importance for our Kim Tae Hyung. We all know that V was the one who performed the theme song for the show called Sweet Night, which became an instant hit. And he was the one to write it as well. The main character or the main or the lead character of the show is Pak Seroi, who's played by none other than the golden boy Pak Sojun. Yep, the very same Sojun who's really good friends with V. They both have starred in a K-drama together and are part of the legendary Wuga squad. Sojin is so extremely proud of his friend V and was very appreciative to be the part of Itaewon class with his dear friend. Not to mention, he also is an army. Itaewon class is an incredible story of finding your place in the world inhibited by the money-hungry elites who abuse their power to beat mundanes into submission. So you'll love this story of revenge and courage with a hint of an emotional roller coaster ride. The show is a very important reminder of keeping your head high in the world which is devoid of compassion and kindness in every way. Make sure to pay respect to V's out of this world taste by watching this K-drama. We can promise you that V didn't disappoint us at all. Number 6, Kingdom, Jimin. Kingdom is the first ever Korean original series by the streaming service Netflix. And minor spoiler alert, it is more on a violent and gory side. If you get uneasy or uncomfortable easily by the graphic violence or such, this show might not be for you. Or you can easily just skip the scenes as well. Jimin shared the same concern while he suggested this show by citing that Kingdom is for strong-hearted people like himself. Kingdom is a brilliant show that takes on the historical account of Japanese invasion on South Korea or the Injun War of 1592. Set in the Joseon Dynasty, the show starts with the leftovers of the Injun War that caused a lot of trouble for the crown prince. In the show, the war ended three years ago, but the problems of the dynasty are never ending. Ju Ji-hoon plays the crown prince Li Chang, who's determined to save the people of his dynasty from a deadly plague. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? We couldn't help but to think about our present conditions revolving around the global pandemic or COVID-19. But hey, put your head high and fight with sheer determination. Kingdom has two seasons so far, and let's just say Jimin came through with this one. So head over to Netflix right now and add this show to your list. And number seven, Sky Castle, RM. Let's just start with this. Sky Castle stands second on the list of K-dramas with the highest ratings on cable television. Speaks volumes for the credibility of this incredible show that is so multifolded, you'll be left in awe at the end. This show is a savage call out to the materialistic parents who are always determined to structure the lives of their children according to their own wishes. And such elite families usually build their empire on the expense of the other people of the community, especially the underprivileged ones. The show especially focuses on the huge hype regarding the university placement exams in Korea that usually get contaminated by the rich parents. These parents will hire special facilities for their children to score higher in the exams and it could be highly unfair to the other students who can't afford such costs. So if RM loves this show, he loves it for all the right reasons. We can definitely say that you won't be disappointed with this one. And that is all from us today, folks. Which of these BTS recommended shows is your favorite? 
let us know in the comments below. Let us also know which show you're going to be watching next. With that said, we hope you enjoyed this video, so don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you aren't already. Turn on the notification bells so you don't miss any videos from us. Until next time, armies.